Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is dedicated to makeup, but the only makeup you need in your cosmetic bag, well, the big cosmetic bag, the essentials, the only makeup that you need to do the whole face makeup, I gathered in my cosmetic bag, not that big actually, all the makeup you need and affordable one. Everything you have here is from drugstore, my favorite drugstore products that I probably, I mean, I totally can like live with like for the rest of my life. I don't really need anything more. Like I really like it and I use it. And I wanna share it with you because I think more people now really realize that uh, high-end products not necessarily have the best quality like even if it's a good product you can find the equivalent or even better product in a drugstore I like primers I use it and I mix it with the foundation or I use it sort of separately um, and my favorite is from Bioderma honestly I really think it works obviously if I have a problematic skin or on the contrary, have a dry skin, I would probably use something more that gives luminosity to my skin, but most of the time I just use this one. Now, the foundations. Um, I really think that this is like the best foundation I came across uh, in the drugstore. And this is by Catrice. It's HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Mattifying Second Skin Effect. Okay, this one, why it's so precious basically, because it's equivalent, it's pretty much a dupe to the wonderful foundation by Estee Lauder, the double wear foundation. It's high coverage, it's so high coverage that basically it's, if you really like work this foundation on the whole of your face and really like buff it in, your, your face will look flawless, high coverage, like really paint. Yet, it doesn't look flat, it doesn't look chalky, it just, it really, it has a quite great quality. Why I think it's a great thing if you want to choose one foundation, because it's thick, it's like a serum-like, but it's very thick. And for me, for instance, now I'm having it on my face, but I only have it here, and on my chin. I have breakouts here, so I really want to use it. It's great for the camera, for the pictures. It doesn't have SPF. Why it's great? Because it's so thick and it has such a great coverage that you need such a small amount that you can just put a little bit and buff it in here, for instance, if you have redness, and you will look amazing. Everything will be covered, and you don't need like a lot of foundation, a lot of product, especially in summer. You just can use this just a little bit, buff it in like with a sponge or a buffer or anything and just, and it will look good. You not, don't need anything else. And for the evening it's like a gem. On the other kind of a different kind of a foundation, not like a foundation, but if you like BB creams or C creams that have lots of um, properties like in one like you know moisturizing and color correcting i really like bourgeois cc cream so basically this cc cream also has a very velvety and luminous uh, finish which is beautiful it's a very good product i really like this it's one of my favorite foundations sort of because i mean it has color so and I have a number 33, I think, 32. It's one of my favorite colors. It's light beige. It's perfect for summer as well. If you're light, if you have a light skin, 32 is good for summer. Perfect. Now, the this one by Rimmel Good to Glow. It's my favorite a liquid um, highlighter but it also I love to use it under my foundation like to put all over my face to bring the luminosity to my skin so it's very sheer it's it's like you can dab it here on the nose but it also very sheer so it's very natural effect loving it 
powders. Let's go to powders. I don't really categorize, like I don't really have it. Everything is like one or two, not more. The essentials. Powders. I love this matte fixing compact powder, no color powder by Essence. I've been using it for already a couple of years or more. This is the only powder I use. It's, it's just a wonderful product. What I like about it, in general, what I like about it is because when I put it on, it lasts me half day. Like, I don't have to fix my face. Even in the heat like this, even with the 80% humidity that we have here in Barcelona, it works. And it doesn't look very powdery on your face, so which is great. Like powder, like you don't see the residue or anything. Like it's powder. My favorite bronzer is by Bourjois. Love Bourjois. In general, I love Bourjois, Bourjois uh, brand. And this bronzer, first of all, it smells vanilla or cacao, I don't know, something chocolatey. And it's bronzing power, powder, uh, bronzing powder, well, it's a bronzer, matte illusion. And it also has a blurring effect. So basically, if you have enlarged pores, or in summer, it's perfect because it, it kind of, yeah, it just smooths out your, like, whatever you put it here. It just, it just has the blurring effect. I love it. I love how it looks on your face. And it's not very bronzy or like, and it's matte, so it's perfect. It's just the right bronzer. I don't know. I've been using it a lot and I just don't see even the point of trying anything else or changing because it's just, I'm loving this product. Smooth and wonderful. Worth checking out, um, I mean, in any case. Like it much more than the famous Rimmel bronzer, which a lot of people like from the drugstore. I like it much more. I think this one's more smooth, like it goes more smoothly on your face. Um, concealer goes without saying, it goes to Maybelline, my favorite concealer. H rewind. I'm just seeing that it's almost done. I cannot believe it. Okay, I use it a lot. I basically use it as my foundation like just draw everywhere where i want to cover and yeah daily basis is my basic foundation it's the best in drugstore i have never i've never come across uh with something as effective as this one so yeah um the what else blush let's talk about blush now let's continue with some little highlighter thing uh, this is basically equivalent to Touche Club by Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, it's L'Oreal Lumi Magic. The stick is magic. You can take it with your uh, with you everywhere. Fix it. I mean, it gives you brightens up everything you have. If you want to brighten up on your face, it brightens up nose basically here like wonderful product i use it a lot like everywhere you want to highlight your face you can use this product it's amazing not heavy duty it's just light very good option considering how expensive they how i sell um this thing is it's worth it my favorite eye palette definitely going to be the Essence uh, fa uh, Eye and Face palette. It's uh, my favorite. I use it a lot. Uh, probably cannot see it, but eyeshadows like really dented. I don't know the name of it. It's I think it's number two. And why I like it? I love the. Quality. I like the texture of this uh, eyeshadows. They are creamy, velvety. They, they, and you can create such a beautiful look with this. For this is kind of a sparkly, like, and this matte. I mean, beautiful. And you have two. It's sort of a highlighter and. Um, blush but sort of like a very like glowy blush 
probably I would say it's a blush toppers like this is highlighter and this is a blush topper it's really nice to put on top of your blush just like to illuminate your face more like highlight it more wonderful if I have to travel I would just take this one and nothing else because you just yeah you can do so much with this in one but speaking of the single eyeshadows I really like eyeshadows by NYX one of my favorite I love the quality and I like the the payoff of the color is amazing it's not too much you can build it up but it's just like one of my favorites that I have here is this bronzy one it's called bedroom eyes they're an interesting name beautiful it's really bronzy and it's so just they're very pigmented they're really bronzy like all you need is to just put these eyeshadows on your eyelids especially in the summer some mascara and you don't need anything else and this one is a bright color it's it's by it's called lol it's orange you would think my it's so orangey but it's it's really nice orange color you can practically put it all over your lid it's sheer it's quite sheer and it applies very nicely like you see I smudged that I mean not very well but you can see how sheer it is it can go all over your lid and you can put some brown eyeshadow some bronzy on top you know like on the corners like you can create a nice look with them I like this single eyeshadows a lot the cream eyeshadows that I completely obsessed with and I think is best in the market which maybe not the best but I love them and I use them for years it's by Maybelline and colored too I know that Revlon has a very nice like uh, eyeshadows in the pot but I just really love this and especially this color this is my favorite it's um unknown bronze somebody told me that somebody I've heard somewhere that it be, it's been it's been discontinued but probably not but if and if you see it in your drugstore shop just get it because it's just so beautiful I have it right now on my eyelids only them and nothing more and yeah this is what I've been using like basically whole July just this eyeshadows and mascara and mascara uh, my favorite mascara not favorite favorite but the ones that I use and I like at the moment and I think in general Maybelline mascara by Maybelline are the, one of the best from drugstore and this one is Total Temptation I have it right now on my um, eyelashes I like it I think it has a natural br bristles so it's just your regular nice like simple it elongates your eyelashes though doesn't make it very thick but elongates and just makes it very natural looking which is actually the point here have to mention one um, eyeshadow like pencil eyeshadow that I simply love this is by H&M and with this you can create so many looks also you can intensify, intensify the, the color or share it out I think I've showed it a couple of times already on my channel how I use this this is my favorite one it's in um, treasure hunt it has like a khaki green color so beautiful it's actually one of my favorites like it's already short it has this kind of a it's like a bronzy khaki color so beautiful goes with every skin tone it's creamy I don't even like I don't even see the point buying any other um, pencil eyeshadows. I just love the H&M pencil eyeshadows so much. They're creamy. They they slide. They just like glide. They slide. They glide over your eyelid. It's amazing. So worth checking out. Okay, we have another concealer like in a pot. The one that would like look like more thick texture and would just maybe cover your perfections your pimples anywhere you have breakout or redness is amazing it's by Catrice camouflage cream I think one of the best concealers yeah it's just amazing it's my second time like I bought it already twice and yeah 
like it's already I use it a lot I use it sometimes just to cover here redness or anywhere I have with the beauty blender it's just multitasking actually so now what else left the blush the blush by Essence Silky Touch Blush is my favorite texture um, I love this blush I think I've been using it for over three years I just I really think this is one of the most beautiful colors and it has such a nice texture it's silky so yeah it's it's really nice I mean it's easy it's easy going actually I broke the lid now okay well actually I can fix it I think anyhow no probably not but anyway for me this blush is like go-to I use a lot of it and yeah, it just gives you a nice peachy um, just making noise it's my breast light peachy nice uh, fresh look like really nice uh, it's really annoying like all this time I was just making noise okay mm -mm. now this is my favorite um in terms of cream blush i haven't really found the drugstore cream blush that i really really like i think bourgeois has a very nice cream blushes i think i had one at one point but i find it with the cream blushes it can get very tricky uh, because there is a certain formula for a cream blush that needs to be very smooth and yet not kind of go and like sort of a make a watercolored effect on your cheeks because you want it to kind of like stick together and I find that it you can achieve it only from like more high quality cream blush so that's why I didn't put anything in here because I don't want to really say I like it or this is the thing to go. I'm just going to take it off because it's just completely annoys me. Um, so yeah, but this one is really nice. So here we have it. have a couple more things. Brows. It's all by Essence because I find they're very effective and very, I mean, very cheap and but they really do the job. This one is basic dupe for, basically a dupe for um, Give Me Brows, I think, by Benefit. has a very small, like tiny brush. It's the, yeah, it just gives your brow such a nice lift. Kind of separates it, fixes it, everything. I love this. This is probably my fourth one. I buy it all the time. I just don't go anywhere else. I just go to Essence and I get that. And the brow gel, I like it. Transparent and it also like eyelash. It's a like lash and brow gel. So it, before I curl my lash eyelashes, I like put this gel on and I think it kind of fixes it. And it's sort of when, when I uh, curl my eyelashes, it kind of just gives this fix, you know. So yeah, also like maybe my third time purchase. The eye pencils I have two that I really think are great from drugstore really like them one is black classical from bourgeois it's like the blackest the blackest uh, eye pencil I've ever used it's a liner bourgeois how you call it very long lasting it's a rollout and I don't know it has a silver lid on here but I don't know if they have it like if this is what they have it always but I mine is having silver lid weird anyway I would I would think it's like a silver but it's black soft smooth like long lasting and I cannot say that you like you have to smudge it quite fast otherwise it sort of like freezes on your face it's perfect it's a very good um, liner look at that just once like 
totally equivalent to the Chanel rollout uh, eyeliners. Considering that uh, Ch Bourjois owns Chanel and they probably are made in the same factory, probably the only thing that differs is the packaging, so why not, honestly? Go to Bourjois. If you like Chanel uh, eyeliners, which I do and I have, I, I, uh, I pencils by Chanel, this rollout format. I cannot distinguish one from another. Like, I cannot. So, I only can distinguish the price of them. So, now, the lip, uh, the lip liners. My favorite the quality lip liner is by Rimmel. I think they're amazing. And my favorite one is in Cappuccino. It has like such a cool toned mauvey um, color. Loving it. I mean, you can intensify the well, just, you can intensify the color, but you also can sort of smudge it on your lips and make it just this, you know, mauve pink color. I'm loving it. It's just it really it looks like it's dark, but. You know how you do, like you, you kind of smudge it, you like you put the lipstick on top and it just gives such a nice color. I love it. It's so soft. I mean, you don't have to exactly, like I don't really say like this color, but like the quality wise, like Rimmel or lip, color, lip liners are my favorite. Another favorite of mine that I buy like probably the third time is by Essence and in the nude. is the perfect nude lip liner. I use it a lot, very often I just fill in my whole lips with this and put the gloss on and normally this is all I have and the gloss I put would be probably this one, Baby Lips by Maybelline in, uh, it's my favorite color, Taupe with me. It has this beige cool toned tint and yeah, this is, this is my favorite lip gloss. I'm loving it. Not teeth. I'm loving it. It's like, for me, wherever I put this lips, lip gloss on, I don't know, I just feel so glamorous and very easy going, you know, like that, that like very easy going glam that you just, and you look different. That's, that's how it makes me feel. That's it. The lipstick. Okay. The lipstick I really love and I also don't know if it's, it has been discontinued or not, but I know you cannot find it everywhere. It's by Rimmel and it's my favorite shade. It's Airy Fairy. It's just perfect. Pale pink, nude, I don't know how you call it. Color. It's like beautiful. It's all you need, literally. Suits to every skin tone from the palest people to the most bronzy ones, dark skin, anyone. Like, it's just such a beautiful color. Loving it. I have two of it. I have a, had a backup. Because once I knew it's been, or going to be discontinued, I got the second one. And yeah, I think this is the, I don't know, first or second, but anyway. I'm happy I have two. I like it so much. That's that. This is all you need. It's not a lot. I think you see it's all like fits in here. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.